Our mission as cooperatives is to improve the quality of life in the communities we serve. That's why we're proud to partner with the Office of the Governor on Beautify the Bluegrass, an initiative that recognizes beautification efforts in hometowns across Kentucky. And now, to announce the finalists for the 2021 Beautify the Bluegrass winners, here is the 61st Governor of Kentucky, Andy Bashir. Thank you, Chris. And thanks to Kentucky Living for supporting homegrown beautification efforts across the Commonwealth. Again this year, Kentuckians have inspired us with their projects. And a special shout out to the local electric cooperatives who have led the way. Co-op members, employees, and board members have teamed up to improve their communities, such as Owen Electric, weeding and planting new flower beds at a state park. Jackson Purchase Energy, picking up trash along busy highways. Gibson Electric Membership Corporation, refurbishing the picnic tables at a local park. And Licking Valley RECC, installing signage for a county park. When we say Team Kentucky, this is what we're talking about. Kentuckians who care about their communities and take action to help. Thank you to every Kentuckian and co-op who completed Beautify the Bluegrass projects this year. While we can't mention all the incredible entries, here are the finalists for the Governor's Award. McDougal Lake Trail Cleanup and Beautification. Organized by the Knob Creek Conservancy, dozens of volunteers eliminated four farm dumps and years of garbage which had floated onto the shore and alongside the trail at McDougal Lake. Ohio County Amphitheater Stage Reconstruction. Volunteers from Big Rivers Electric Corporation rebuilt a deteriorating wooden stage at the County Park Amphitheater, replacing the old wood and lattice from the stage area and painting the new stage and light tower. Lake Liberty Transformation. More than 100 volunteers, including Casey County High School football players and the 4-H Team Council, working for over four months, transformed Lake Liberty, cleared brush, performed both land and water cleanups, and installed new signage and benches. The Monarch Mural. Next to the old jail in Franklin, about 15 volunteers from the Franklin Simpson Garden Club, with the help from the city, created a walkway that protects the Monarch Butterfly Way Station Garden from cars. The volunteers painted a series of murals that show the life cycle of the Monarch. Beattyville City Park Restoration. Historic flooding in March devastated Beattyville City Park. Working alongside several city employees, more than 45 Jackson Energy employees volunteered 630 man hours over a two day span, reconstructing the, the safety fall zone around each piece of playground equipment, shoveling tons of sand and mulch, repairing fencing, plus pressure washing, landscaping, and painting. Leslie County Community Canoe Cleanup. More than 100 community members, from students to seniors, worked to remove over 60 cubic yards of garbage and nearly 300 tires from the Middle Fork River and area waterways. Organizers then distributed 66 road quality anti-littering signs throughout the county. The public vote to decide the recipient of the Beautify the Bluegrass Governor's Award is September 6th through 17th on KentuckyLiving.com. We'll announce the winner on September 27th. Finally, as Kentucky Living and Kentucky's electric cooperatives recognize the best in Kentucky and celebrate Kentucky tourism, this is a perfect time to support Kentucky tourism with the Vax and Visit campaign. Eligible Kentuckians who have received their shot of hope can register for a chance to win a safecation at any of Kentucky's 45 state parks. Safecations include golf, lodging, and campground gift certificates. Kentuckians must be 18 years or older to enter and have received at least their first dose of a safe and effective vaccine. To learn more, visit taah.ky.gov.